Let's begin. Okay, so actually, let's start on our backs. I like this. You have blocks, which is awesome. So, Katie, just elevate your head because we're going to start laying down. And um, you'll take your feet like a little bridge. So we, we do this during the class sometimes, okay? Like this on the backs. And just kind of lift your hips up and drop down. So palms can face open. And your knees just kind of go in, but I want your feet a little closer together. So just the subtle, subtle kind of rotation. And one hand can be on heart, palms can be up, anything goes, one hand on belly. And just take a couple cycles of breath, feel your lower back press down. And when you exhale out, feel your lower back press into the mat and feel your feet kind of firm up onto the ground, onto the blocks. Sometimes when you do things a little different, you feel a little more. Upper shoulder blades spread. And we just settle in. Blink the eyes open, because if we stay too long, we might go back to sleep. Let your knees direct them, direct them straight up towards the sky. Keep the left leg bent on the block like this and just hug your right knee in. Hug the right knee in, give it a squeeze, yep. Feel, a little lubrication of the hip here. And then extend your right leg straight up towards the sky and you're gonna grab behind the meaty part of your thigh like this, okay? Even if you have more flexibility, take it like this. I want you to feel your arms go straight and the clasp hands really strong as your leg kind of falls into it. Now I want you to flex your foot from the center of your heel towards the sky and really feel, feel the back side of that right hamstring and the calf get a nice stretch. And then from the ball of your foot and your toes, I want you to point. Yeah, so you're just gonna go a couple like that. You're gonna flex, but when you flex, really think about center of the heel towards the sky and then point, really point the toe. Good, go again, flex, feel, small movements here. And again, point. Good, then you're gonna relax the foot and cross the right ankle over the top of the thigh, just like this. So we're doing ankle to knee with the left foot on the block, and then use your right palm to press your right inner thigh open. Left palm could just go flat to the ground. Feel the lower back spread and just hold here for a few cycles of breath. Good, let that go. Find your right foot back to the block. Yep, hug your left knee in. Give it a little squeeze first. Make sure your right knee is pointed up towards the sky. Then extend the left leg up. So this is my better side, so I'm happier when I get here. Yeah, grab behind the thigh. Arms are straight. Let your hands kind of fall into those clasp hands. Make it kind of a strong connection. And you're going to flex your foot from the center of your heel. Press firm. And then you'll point your toe like your toe is touching the ceiling sky. Good, try it again. You're gonna flex from the center of your heel. The back leg lengthens. You'll point really high. When I point, I feel more through the shin. Yeah, one more cycle. You'll flex firm, it's a small movement. And then you'll point, point it up. And then you'll relax the foot so it's neutral and you'll cross your ankle over the top of the thigh. And I'm gonna use my left palm to press that thigh open, right hand flat to the ground. And I'm just doing that so I don't topple to one side and just feel. Good, I'm gonna release the left foot back to the block and using robot-like arms, I'm gonna press up to a little baby bridge. Press firm into the blocks, lift the tailbone, lengthen from the tailbone to the backs of the knees. Triceps press firm. Feel the space as you drive down through those inner heels. Exhale the breath, lower down. Hug the knees in, rock and roll. Get a little momentum if you're able to do so. When you come up, obviously move your blocks, cross your ankles, and let's come to our first downward facing dog. So as you arrive into this first downward facing dog, pedal out your feet, shimmy your hips, Wag the tail, whatever it is that you need to do, and then settle into a strong shape here. Spread the palms wide, your thumb, your index finger, your baby finger. Breathe the hips way up off the shoulders. 
You got it. The thumb, the index finger, the baby finger, press firm into the mat. Your outer triceps grip in, and then just let your head go. There you go. Begin to feel. Feel the sides of your body lift. Good. You'll roll forward to plank position. Lead with your heart and chest. Firm the hands into the mat. We'll drop the knees together on an angle. Untuck the feet to the tops of the feet. Press into the mat. Halfway down to a supported push-up. Neck is neutral. Restraighten your arms so you're in a supported plank. Seat to heels for a child's pose. So lengthen from the tailbone through the fingertips. Rock forward, tops of the feet on the mat. Weight comes forward, halfway supported push-up. Restraighten your arms to supported plank. Seat to heels, lengthen, spread open child's pose. One more time, weight shifts forward, baby supported plank. Halfway to supported push-up, don't go too low. Restraighten your arms to supported plank. Good work, guys. Seat to heels, child's pose. It's always a good thing to know this. Curl the toes into the mat, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Center of your heel melts, palms press down. Good. Breathe your right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Come forward to plank, hug your right knee towards your navel. Arms are straight up and down. Guide your right foot forward and through on the fingertips, just like this. Always good to have the blocks nearby. Spring to the top of the mat, feet, hips with distance. Long spine on the inhale, hands are welcome to rest on the shins. Exhale, fold into yourself, let your head go. Root to rise, come all the way up. Grab it, drag it to prayer, drop your arms. Here we go, arms go straight up towards the sky. Dive in half over bent knees, let your head go. Long spine to prepare, generous step back with your right leg. Plant the palms, left foot joins plank. Halfway to a push up, modify with the knees down if you need. Up dog or cobra, you pick what feels best in your body. Hips go up and back, downward facing dog. Just to stay even and consistent, breathe your left leg up and back, three-legged down dog, lift from the inner thigh. Come forward and hug your left knee in and up, scoop up the belly. Look forward and step, left foot forward and through. Be on your fingertips. You should feel this pretty intently across that back right leg, yeah. Swing to the top of the mat with both feet. Long spine on the inhale. So if the hands don't make it, I definitely love hands pressed to shins. That's a great option. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer, drop your arms. Here we go, arms go up. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Long spine on the inhale, left foot takes a big step back. Palms go flat, right foot joins plank. Add in your push up. Up dog or cobra, pick what feels best in your low back. Yeah, you can always go down like this too. This is cobra. You just slide your hands back a little bit and you're in good shape. Perfect. Hips go up and back, down dog. So I find sometimes the up dogs are a little abrasive in the low back. So it's not always good for everybody. Arms stay nice and straight. Look where you want to go. Step or float to the top of the mat. Get there nice and light. Long spine weight is forward. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms. It's heating up with this weird ozone layer. Yeah, arms go straight up towards the sky. You'll start tripping this afternoon. You'll be like, I did yoga outside. Fold over your legs. Long spines repair. Step or float through the vinyasa. Up dog pulls you through your body. Hips go up and back down. We're facing that's perfect. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Look where you want to go. Step or float top of mat. Let's just get moving. Long spine. Fold. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms. Here we go. Arms go up. Dive in half. Let your head go. Long spine. Prepare. Step or float. Yeah, if you're going to hop, Amanda, hop to a low push-up. Then pull yourself through an up dog. Hips go up and back, down dog. 
Deep breath in. Each one's getting better. Deep breath out. Look where you want to go. Step or float or crawl. Long spine. Fold. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms. One more. Arms go up. Dive over bent knees. I do it with my feet apart. Long spine to prepare. Step, step, float. You got it. Little push up. Then pull yourself to an up dog. You got it. Lower all the way. Hips go up and back. Down dog. Breathe the right leg up and back. Three legged down dog. Flex strong through your foot like you did before. Yeah. And then point your right toes. Great. Come forward. Hug your right knee straight in and up. Center of the body. Activate. Step the right foot forward and through. Most of you have blocks. Take the blocks. I did have this yesterday and it feels really good. You can go high with the blocks. You can go medium or low. You can use your fingertips. Yeah. So keeping your back leg the way that it is, you're going to straighten your right leg on track and you're going to round your spine and look in. You're going to rebend and arch. So it's like a little cat and cow with a hamstring movement. Mm -hmm. Move slow. Straighten the leg and round and look in. Stay high in the ball of your back foot. Rebend the front thigh, lift the heart and the chest. Good. Round the spine, look in. Rebend and pause. Start to walk your hands up to the center of your thigh. Right palm stays down, left arm sweeps up, and then right arm sweeps up towards the sky, which is a fun way to get in. Hip points drive forward, activate that back leg. Drop down to your bottom knee if you feel like you don't have the stability to hold this. Another big breath in. Let the sides of your body lift you up. Hands to frame the front foot. You can use the blocks again. Keep your right foot where it is. Just turn your back foot on a strong angle. Grip your right hip in strong and then rise warrior one. Back foot turns. Left rib spin forward. Looks good. Sit heavy in that front thigh and just breathe. Another big breath in, feel. Hands to frame your front foot, step to a plank. Add in your push up, up dog or cobra, pick what feels best. I always say pick your poison. Hips go up and back, down dog. Breathe the left leg up and back, lift from your inner thigh, pause for a moment. Really flex the foot like you did before. And then go ahead and point your toe. Point it strong. Come forward. Hug the left knee in and up. Scoop up the belly. Land the left foot forward and through. Stay low. Find those blocks that work for you. I'm going to go high with them today just to kind of give myself a break. I'm going to press my palms flat into them. Straightening my left leg on track. The back leg stays really long and charged up. I'm going to round into it. Rebend. Lead with your chest. You want your knee to track over your ankle. So, Allie, bring your foot a little more forward. Got it. Good. Straighten the leg and scoop up and look in. Rebend. Arch the spine a little bit to arch the upper back and look forward. One more time. Straighten, hollow out, look in. Rebend. Pause. Keeping everything the way that it is, just kind of creep your hands up your thighs. Press, press the left palm into that left hip point and sweep your right arm up, giving the energy that you need so your thigh bone stretch it presses down, left arm extends up. Arms can go any position that works for you. Activate that back leg. Hip points forward. Drive down into the mat. Sides of the body lift you up. Nice work. Take another big breath in. Hands to frame your front foot. Keep the left foot where it is. Turn your back foot on a strong angle. Steer the right ribs forward. And here we go. Let's rise, warrior one. Yeah, walk the left foot a little bit over to the left. Grip the left hip in and turn your back foot so it's almost completely forward. There you go. And then the hip points can start to move forward. Anchor through the outer blade of your back foot. Great. Another big breath. Stay with it. Hands to frame your front foot, move your blocks to the side, step to a plank. Halfway to a push-up, pull the chest through for your up dog cobra. Hips go up and back, down dog. 
Take a deep breath in. Take a full breath out. Good, look to the top of the mat. Step or float your feet there. Get there light. That was a good one. Long spine, fold. Sit heavy in your heels for chair. Your feet can be separated. Stick your butt way back. And your arms move up. Press up to stand up. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms. So from the top, this is sun B. Arms go straight up. Heavy in your heels for chair. Dive over bent knees forward. Fold. Let your head go. Long spine to prepare. Step or float through a vinyasa. You can take out anything that doesn't feel good or add in things that feel good that you want more of. Okay, so right foot lands on your breath. We're all going to move a little different. Rise, warrior one. Back down we go through a push up. Up dog is smooth. You got it. Hips go up and back down dog. The left foot lands, the back foot turns. Anchor first and then rise. It really helps if that back foot kind of secures down. Back down we go through a push up. Up dog, isn't this fun? Hips go up and back, down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Look where you want to go, step or float, top of mat. Long spine, fold, heavy in your heels, chair. Press up to stand up, drag it to prayer, drop your arms. Arms go up, heavy in your heels, chair. Dive over bent knees, let your head go. Long spine to prepare, step or float vinyasa. Keep it going. Right foot lands, back foot turns, rising your breath, warrior one. Change my song. Hands back down, chaturanga push up. Move through your up dog. Hips go up and back, down dog. Left foot lands, back foot turns, rise. Warrior one. We got it. Hands back down through your vinyasa. You can always go to a down dog if it's too much. Meet me in a down dog. Hold and breathe. We'll do one more. Arms stay very active. Look where you want to go. Step or float top of mat. Long spine on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Heavy in your heels, chair. Stick your butt way back. There you go. And then use the center of the heel to press up to stand up. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms. Arms go straight up. One more. Heavy in your heels. Dive over bent knees forward. Fold. Let your head go. Long spine. Set it up. Step, step, float. Vinyasa. Pull through an upward facing. Hips go up and back. Downward facing. Right foot lands. Back foot turns. Just get it moving. Rise. Warrior one. Hands back down, chaturanga. Up dog, hips go up and back, down dog. Left foot lands, back foot turns, rise. Back down we go, push up, upward facing. Hips go up and back, downward facing. So let's turn our heels to the right and toes to the left. It looks kind of like this. And then lean on your right hand for a staggered side plank. So the left foot kind of goes in front of the right. You got it. You can always drop your bottom knee down. Lift from your bottom hip through your top hip. Top arm can wrap up and forward if you want a little more. <coughs> Lift a little higher. Plank position. Hips go up and back, down dog. Heels to the left, toes to the right. Left hand comes forward an inch, and then you roll. Vashisthasana like this. You can drop your bottom knee. Yes, Allie, drop your knee. Bring it a little closer under your hip, and you'll be good. Perfect. Top arm can wrap up and forward. If you want a little more, you got it, Amanda. Turn, turn your baby finger down. Yep. Lift a little higher. You got this. It's a bold pose. Plank position. Drop to your forearms, forearm plank. 
You can knuckle the mat with your hands. You can clasp and lengthen your tailbone. You can always drop your knees down. Let the sides of your triceps wrap in, keep your neck neutral. Activate the center line. Fix your eyes on something that's not moving. Quiet your breath. By you, quiet your mind by using your breath is what I'm trying to say. If you quiet your breath, you won't be able to maintain the pose. You quiet your breath so much, you stop breathing. Right. Let's hold five more breaths. It's funny, like when you talk a lot and, when, and you don't even realize half the time what you're saying. Like, you know what you're saying, but all sorts of shit comes out. If the hands are clasped, split them apart. One palm at a time, plank. Nice work, Zoomers. Chaturanga. Up dog, smooth transitions. Hips go up and back, downward facing. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top them up. Long spine on the inhale, fold in half. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag it to prayer, drop your arms. Standing on your left leg, just hug your right knee in. Yep. So you'll hold on to the front of your right knee shin area and just extend your left arm up. For some reason you wanna move further into this, you're welcome to hook your big toe and extend the leg forward. When the leg that's moving forward extends, it doesn't have to be straight. The, the straight leg is the left leg. <coughs> Good, stand up really, really tall. And like we started the practice, flex the foot to the center of the heel, faces towards the ground. Fix your eyes, quiet your mind. Keep the leg up in space, just bring your right arm up. So both arms are up and the leg is lifted. It could be at a 90 degree angle, it doesn't have to be straight. Press down firm to that standing leg. Wrap the right thigh around the left, wrap the right arm under, eagle yourself. Steer the knees a little to the right, upper body a tad to the left, yeah, wrap like this. You got it, yeah. Lift the elbows up, weight in that standing heel. Fix your eyes, breathe. it a little deeper. Keep squeezing the legs, just unravel your arms. So you see how the left leg is really bent? Just unravel the right leg and let it join, sit in chair, sit way back, drag your hands to prayer, inhale your breath, hook and twist to the right. You can air twist as well. You don't have to twist if you're unable to twist today. Weight stays back in the heels. You got it. These look very good. Spine is nice and long. Drag your left hip back and then the knee will follow. Lengthen and twist. Look sideways, look up. Pull around to chair, heavy in your heels. Think about that center of the heels. You drop your seat a little lower. Shoot up to stand up. Drag it to prayer. Drop your arms. Just stand for a beat. Right leg powerful, hug your left knee in. Start really basic, hug the left knee in. Yep, stand up really tall. You can stay here, left hand on the front of that left knee shin area, right arm extends up. You're gonna hook the big toe, hook the big toe and extend the leg out at any amount. Side ribs long, flex the foot strong, like you're stamping the foot into the mat. Grip the outer right hip in. Stay with it, a couple more. Keep the leg lifted, don't let it drop, let the left arm wrap up. Flex the foot strong. Use the deep core muscles to hold that leg up in space. Wrap the left leg around the right, wrap the right uh, left arm under, left arm, left leg. Woo Standing right leg is the balancing leg. Squeeze down the center line, weight in the heel. You got it. Fix your eyes, lift the elbows. Try to create a straight line from fingertips to elbows, to knees, to shins, to toes. Nice, Erica, sit deeper, two inches deeper. Keep the legs bound up, just unravel your arms. 
You want to try and keep that right leg bent in half. Just slide the left leg back next to it. It's a deep chair. You got this. Drag this to prayer. Inhale the breath. Let's hook and twist to the left. You got it. So now it's the right hip that likes to swing forward. It's just kind of the nature of our body. These look good though. Stay nice and even. Weight shifting back, looking sideways, looking up, opening your arms if you want, or just staying with. Kick the breath up a notch more. Twist a little deeper. Chair pose, pull it around. Really sit into that chair, sit deep. Dive over bent knees forward, fold, let your head go. Long spine to prepare, step or float through a vinyasa. You got this, upward facing pulls you through. Hips go up and back, downward facing dog. Step your right foot smack in between your hands. Turn your back foot strong on an angle. From the ground up, let's come into triangle. This feels great to me. So your hips, you got it. Your hips will open up towards the grill. Awesome. If you need a block, you slide it to the outside of the right calf. Hook the side of your hips under, side ribs long. And stack it open. Always a slight bend in that front leg. Look sideways, look up. Keep the strong shape. Look down, let's float up to Arda. Yeah, we're going for Arda Chandras and a hat, that's half moon. So your hand can come to your hip, you know this pose. Take the block, slide it out and step up. So the block has to come enough out to the right and over a drop that your side ribs are long and then you step up into it. Perfect. So play with how this feels. Sometimes having the palm flat into the block is great. Sometimes your fingertips into the ground. So take your left hand to your hip. It's gonna help. And keep your right foot forward. Yep, that's the hardest part. Grip your right hip in. Add in a little bind if you want more. Steer the side of the ribs up. You got it. Sometimes our balance is just not there. You do what you can. If you took a bind, release into a regular Arda. Step back to triangle. Giant step back. Move the block with you if you need it. Side of your ribs lift. This time your top arm can wrap up and forward. Yeah, side body getting a really nice bold opening. Watch that the right shoulder doesn't turn in. Lengthen it down the back like your arms are in a side plank. Two more. Plank position to the floor we go. Move through a vinyasa. Up dog is smooth, you're doing great. Hips go up and back, downward facing. The left foot lands, the back foot turns. Open it up right from the ground into triangle pose. Yeah, you pick your distance. So the trick with this pose is that your back right toes have to be on an angle a little forward. Perfect. And then grab anywhere across the front of the shin that it feels good for you. And then settle in here. Looks great. Draw the belly in, feel the side ribs lift. Oh, you see so you're doing well today. The ring is closed. Look down, step up into Arda. That's funny, the Apple Watch is talking to us over here. Left hip grips in. Yeah, so if the balance is a little off, right hand can stay on the hip and that kind of guides you into the pose. The side ribs long. Stack it open and then add in the bind if it feels appropriate in your practice today. The kick goes behind you and soften your left standing knee a little. You got it.
Stay with it, a few more breaths. If you took a bind, just release the leg, release the arm, regular Arda, which is known as half moon, and a light step back, triangle. Pull up anywhere across the front of the shin and restack open, triangle pose. This time the right arm can wrap up and forward if you want a little bit more. This does give you a stretch from the TFL, that's that hip insertion point. Watch that the left shoulder doesn't roll in. Three more breaths. Eyes to the floor, plank position. Move it through a vinyasa. Up dog is smooth. Hips go up and back, down dog. Step the right foot smack. Turn the back foot strong. Stay low. You all have a block, so use it. Caddy it to the instep of the foot. Right palm down. Use the back of the tricep, press it in there. You have to turn your back foot so it's like open. And then peel the left arm open. I like getting into, this is B variation of extended side angle. It just feels very grounding and it gets the hip very open. So you use the back of your tricep. Your arm can always rest on the top of your thigh if it's just a little too much today. So decide what you need. Left arm can wrap behind your back if you want a half bind. It's totally up to you. Doesn't work for all of us. Steer the heart and the chest open, grip your bottom hip in. Look sideways, look up. These look great. Nice work, everyone. Stay with it and just breathe here. Stay with it a little longer. Next sharp exhale breath. Let's pull it up together, warrior two. Warrior two and spread the arms open wide. Bend deep into that front thigh. You got it, lengthen your tailbone. Wrap that inner right thigh open. Fix your eyes on something that's not moving. You got it. Let's actually eagle the arms today. So wrap your left arm under your right arm, but you gotta find neutral in the center here. There you go. So roll your left shoulder back. Yep, keep bending into that front thigh, anchor that left leg, close your eyes and hold here. Restraighten your arms, open it up. There's a lot of power here. Flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Oh yeah. <laughs> Take it to the floor, vinyasa. Add in the push ups. Add in the back bend. Hips go up and back down dog. Let's keep it going, ladies. Step your left foot smack. Turn your back foot strong. Caddy the block. I'm going medium height today. Yep, left palm goes down. Sometimes I've been knuckled the, the block. Back of the tricep and then I peel open like this. Grip that left hip under, turn the ribs. So yeah, so play with the height of the block. No two sides of the body are exact. So you may have to go higher here. Track the left knee over that left angle. Add in the half bind if that's there today. And then grip that bottom hip under you. Steer the chest open. Look sideways, look up. Keep bending into that front thigh. Yeah, activate your right leg. And then we settle in and we hold. It's super exciting. More breath. Neck sharp, exhale breath. Warrior two, pull it up. Side ribs long, spread open nice and wide. Drive down into the mat. So think about the center of your heels and like pressing them down. Wrap the right arm underneath the left arm. Lift the elbows up. Steer the shoulder blades down the back. Find neutral here, close your eyes and hold. Stay with it. Think about your tailbone and dropping it down. There you go. Unleash your arms, warrior two. 
Flip the palm, reverse the warrior, side body opening, circle it to the floor, vinyasa, keep it moving. Up dog is smooth. Good work, hips go up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, take a full breath out. Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge. We're moving along. Good. If you get here and you're like, all right, my balance is just not here today. You drop your knee. What day was it? I think it was Monday. I went to do something. My balance was horrible. It just happens. Drag the hands to prayer. Inhale the breath, lean way out, hook the elbow and twist. Yeah. So if you want to drop the back knee, the knee's on an angle. So slide it back out even more. Yeah. Grip in there and then twist open. Open up the arms if you want more. We're holding for a few more really good breaths. Yeah. Lean back a little bit, get the crown of the head to line up with that back leg. Hands to frame your front foot. If the knee isn't down, drop it down. Yeah. Slide the thigh bone back, use your block, place it to the instep of the foot like this. Left palm's gonna go flat, right arm's gonna peel back. This is enough for a lot of us. We're going into, this is called full pigeon. The, the back left foot can kick up and you can grab your foot. Yes, if the foot is it's not going into the hand, don't worry about it. Don't force it, don't force it, don't force it. You know what you can do? Take your block up even higher. Super helpful, right? Just make sure your knee isn't jamming into the ground. It's more on an angle. Steer sideways or look back a little. Breathe. Yeah, just stay in that halfway point. Stay with it. Let the foot go, okay? Bring both hands down to the mat. Integrate your back knee. Step it in, so you have like a short position between your feet, hands to hips, and let's come up. We'll set up for twisting triangle. It's easier to do it from like a standing position. So right hand on hip, left arm extends up. Inhale your breath, come halfway. I always have to bend my front knee a lot. And then I start to come down. I'm gonna use this block again, place it to the instep of the foot, right palm to the flat part of your back, look sideways, look up, and then start to twist open. Steer the hips back, anchor that back leg. Watch the left shoulder that it's not turning in. Breathe big and bold into the whole body here as you twist deeper. Two more. Hands to frame your front foot, step to a dog. When you get to down dog, slide into plank, halfway to a push up, up dog or cobra. Hips go up and back, down dog. Get jazzed for the left side. Left foot lands, crescent lunge, come on up. Got it, you're doing well. Drag the hands to prayer. The trick with this pose, guys, lean way out and then hook and twist. If you're not twisting, you can just kind of stay floating in space. Yep, go, go towards the pool, drop the back knee. I'm going to drop the back knee. There you go. Grip in there. Hook that left hip in. Look sideways. Look up. Point your left elbow way up towards the sky. You got it. Lean back a little. Crown of the head lines up with that back right foot. Yeah, you may find one side is weaker than the other, so you have to drop the knee. Find something you know you can hold for a few more breaths. Stay with it. Two more. Hands to frame your front foot. If the knee isn't down, drop it down. Make sure it's on an angle. Go for the block. Place it any height that works for you today. Right palm goes flat. I bring mine a little bit forward. Left arm peels back. Listen, this could be where you stay. Your back knee can stay down on the mat. Left arm peels back and open. If you can kick your foot up and get hold of the foot, the toe, the ankle, Give it a go. If it's not in the cards today, do not force it. Just stay with this. Breathe. The block can go up higher too. 
Keep stamping that heel into the mat. Keep gripping your left hip in. It's an intense OS stretch. It's stretching the entire front side of the body. No matter where you are in the pose, you're getting something, trust me. You don't have to go any deeper. A little longer. Let the foot go, place both hands down to the mat, integrate the back knee and then step that foot way in, make a shorter step, hands to hips, halfway up, rest of the way up. Here we go, left hand on hip, right arm extends up, both hips are forward, so find your stance, halfway down, reach way out and then find your twisting triangle. I'm gonna go high with the block and bring it a little bit more to the center today. Left hand on the flat part of the back, so press firm through your back leg. Really stamp that heel into the mat. There you go. Front knee can have a bend. Stack it open. Sideways or up. You got it. Rinse open here. Stay with it a tad longer. One more big breath. Exhale, both hands down to the mat. Step to a dog. In this down dog, I want you to slide your right knee forward and slide into a half pigeon on this side. Yeah, half pigeon. Exhale, the breath, fold. Oh yeah. See, time flies when you have fun. You might not see it as fun, but time just flies, right? We need like seven mats. She's three mats out here. Yeah. Hey, whatever works. We got cush We're doing cushy yoga. Fold in half. Yeah. Yeah. It's thin. Next time, let's double. We'll double mat you. I have more mats. Yeah. Right. You the usual one. Yeah, we can double pad you. No problem. We'll hook you up. Fold deeper. Stay a drop longer. That right hip flexor, right glute, right piriformis. And then let your top left foot just melt more into the mat. Good, use the strength of your body, come up and swing your left leg forward, little tree. Katie, I'm gonna call this the Katie flow. Yeah, right hand behind your back, inhale the breath, exhale, lift up. Left palm goes, uh, right palm goes flat. Left foot, press it firm into the mat. You got it. Left arm reaches up and, and straight back. Exhale the breath, lower down. When you hit the floor, right shin forward, left ankle on top for double pigeon. Yeah, this is a sweet one. We haven't done this in a while. So lift your hips up. It's going to be a little ugly for some of us. If you have a bolster or a block, you can slide it into the, in, the inner part of this, this left side. And I find that it helps tremendously. You can also just cross your ankles and just take a regular crisscross and fold. So the goal is to get your right shin in line with the front of your right mat, the front of the mat here. So it's, it's really ankle to knee. You could also just do this and fold. This is called Sukhasana and just really make a strong box, flex your feet a lot and fold. This is Sukhasana guys, I'm demonstrating Sukhasana. It's just crossing the shins, strong flex of the feet. If you can't do ankle to knee, stay a little longer. Any of these options are great. So we've been talking a lot about keeping your feet and really stamping through your heels. Do that in this pose and you're gonna to start to feel more. Close your eyes, breathe.
pull your torso up, unravel your legs, feet go flat like this, palms will face you, inhale the breath, exhale, lift up, reverse tabletop, press down and lift even. I just look down the center line of the body and don't drop my neck back. Lower the hips, cross the ankles. One last vinyasa here, step or float. Add in what feels good. Hips go up and back, down dog. The left knee comes forward, half pigeon, and you melt into this side. Let yourself just go. Five more breaths, make it count. Good, use the strength of your body, start to come up, swing the right leg around at the little tree, left hand behind you, inhale the breath, exhale, lift up, sail. Yeah, make it feel good. Lift a little higher. Look into the strange sky here in New Jersey. Exhale the breath, lower down with control. Fun ankle to knee, left shin this time in front, right ankle on top. I always like to try it, but if it's not gonna happen today, just cross at your ankles and take Sukhasana. Good, stamp the feet. Not bad. What do you feel? I would just do Sukhasana. Just cross at your shins and make a box, a big box with your feet. Yep, kind of pull your feet out. There you go. And then flex, 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 and then fold. It's any way you can get external rotation of your hips is what we're looking for. Good, and breathe here. It's a good version of this. Stay with it. Five more breaths. Good, pull yourself up here, unravel the legs. If you have blocks, bring them to the side of you, bless you. Unravel the legs. Feet are gonna go flat like this. Blocks, you're gonna find a position for the hands. You're gonna lift your legs up into a, a supported Navasana with the hands on blocks. If you don't have blocks, you could just claw the mat like this. What I want is your arms to be straight, okay? Your legs do not have to be straight. So we're gonna row the boat. So when you lower down, the blocks kind of move back and you lower yourself down. Shoulder blades lift, lower back presses into the mat. Legs can be lifted at any angle. So when you pull yourself back up, the blocks move forward and the knees kind of drag in. So try it again. Low boat, you hover and the blocks slide back. High boat, the blocks slide forward, yeah. And the legs bend in, keep going. Low boat, blocks slide back. You hover everything. High boat, blocks slide forward, legs bend. One more, low boat, hover, pull it back up, high boat. Low boat, hover. Exhale, lower the feet down onto the blocks like we started. Lift the hips up, bridge. Yep, drive down, stamp down into the block. Clasp the hands this time underneath you. Lift powerfully into the ground and the hips will lift up super high. Exhale the breath. Lower down, keep your feet on the blocks. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Bring your blocks, Allison, a little closer to you. Closer to you. Let's go again. How do you feel about full wheel? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go. If you wanna go full wheel, you can try it with your feet on the blocks too. Try it, yeah. 
full wheel guys, regular bridge pose, supported bridge, any version of a back bend. Good work. Wrap your inner thighs forward. Lift yourself up. So great. Exhale the breath, lower down. Keep your feet on the blocks. This is kind of how we started the practice. Left foot stays as it is, right knee hugs. Just check in, hug the right knee in. Extend the right leg up, straighten the leg, stamp the heel towards the ceiling. Drag the right heel to the outside of the right hip for a half happy baby. Let your left knee wing open a little. Yeah. Let the knee of the left leg come back to center, cross the right ankle over the top of the thigh. I mean, it feels significantly better. Press the right palm firm into the instep of the right thigh, ankle to knee using the support of the block. Lower the right foot to the block. Good, hug the left knee in, start basic. Extend the left leg up, stamp the heel that really activate the leg. Feel the left leg get a nice stretch here. Keep the stamping of the heel and pull the knee to the outside of the rib for a half happy baby. Let your right leg kind of wrap open. Let the right knee come back to center, cross the left ankle over the top of the thigh. Use the hand for ankle to knee with the block supporting underneath the right foot. Full happy baby, grab the outsides of the feet. Pull the knees, lengthen the tailbone. Relax the shoulder blades. Come back to center with your legs. Wrap your left thigh around your right. Lift your hips up and drop your knees over to the right. Left shoulder blade melts to the ground. Right hand can encourage the left thigh to come closer. Come up to center, even your hips, wrap the right thigh around the left thigh, move the hips to the right, drop the knees a little to the left, left hand to the right thigh, right shoulder blade down. Come up to center, even squeeze of your knees in, exhale the breath, extend the legs out, use your blocks, Set yourself up for Shavasana, complete rest right here. Use the blocks under the thighs. Let yourself just melt towards the ground.
pull a full breath in, a deep smoky breath out. <laughs> Arms up over the top of your head for a full stretch. Hug your knees in. And with the eyes closed, come up to a seated position. Any which way feels good for you. I'm gonna tip sideways so I can see zoomers too. Hands to prayer. Sit up nice and tall. Just feel the effects of this morning's practice. It's always something new, something different. Bow the head, have some closure for yourself. Lift the head, open the eyes. Namaste. Let's go out there, have an awesome afternoon. And I will see you next time. I will Zoom live from Revel on Friday. So if you're not around, you're welcome.